Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video is a bathroom deep clean. I'm doing the ensuite as well as the main bathroom today so it is packed full of deep clean and motivation to help you tackle your bathrooms and also tick off your to-do list today. So do go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and also leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it. So whenever I'm doing a deeper clean, I hate having to clean around things. It's just always so much stuff in the way, especially in these bathrooms, because as you can see, I have absolutely no storage and everything is just out on the shelves and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and empty out the whole room first. So I've got a nice blank canvas to work with. So once I've given everything a good wipe over with the method spray, I'm then going in with some anti-back wipes to do the toilet and then I'll be deep cleaning the shower and the shower doors and stuff. And I always use the white vinegar spray and washing up liquid mix to do that. It just leaves it crystal clear. It gets rid of all of the hard watermarks and yeah, it just works perfectly. So I always use washing up liquid and white vinegar whenever I'm doing a deep clean in the bathroom. So am I the only one that finds doing stuff like this so satisfying? I get the same feeling whenever I'm doing the kitchen sink. I just, it's so satisfying putting it on and then rinsing it all off to see how clean it is. It's just something that I really enjoy. So I just leave it sitting for about 10 minutes to work its magic and then I rinse it off. Don't really need to do much scrubbing as soon as it's rinsed off. It's just so fresh and clean. And of course you can use any scented washing up liquid you like. And I think I'm using the mint one at the moment so it smells absolutely lush so fresh and then once I've done this I do need to go in and do the mirrors because the mirrors in the bathroom are definitely something that I forget to clean all the time no matter when I'm cleaning the bathrooms I always forget the mirrors so I'm going to go in and do that now so I don't forget and then I'm also going to be steam mopping the floor just to make sure that everything is super fresh today Wrong. 
So once everything's had a good clean, I then just need to go in and put everything back where it belongs. I'm also going to give some stuff a quick wipe over because it's crazy how dusty things get. So I'm just going to give those a wipe down and then put everything back before moving into the main bathroom. And I do want to do some decluttering in there because it's getting a little bit too hectic in the main bathroom. And I just like to have a nice calm empty relaxing space so i'm going to be doing some decluttering as well as a deep clean and just get the space a lot more relaxed and inviting So before I go ahead and empty out the bathroom, the first thing I wanted to do was tackle the buff because it was looking very grimy and definitely worse for wear. So I'm just going to go in and give it a good scrub over and then I'm also going to be filling it with bleach while I empty the rest of the room just to really disinfect it, really give it a good deep clean. And then I can rinse it off and wipe it over. But first of all, I just want to let it sit so it can work its magic so I don't have to do too much scrubbing. So I'm now going to go ahead and empty these bits out and as you can see my jewelry is just getting everywhere and I don't want to keep that in here anymore as well as some of those candles and stuff it's just got way too cluttered for me and I really want to create a bit more of a minimal relaxing space so I am going to go ahead and put a plant in here instead and I think a plant can really transform a space but I always say to shop your home first because this plant has been in literally every room of the house but I just like to have a shuffle around some Sometimes it can really make a space look brand new so I'm just going to go in and give everything a good wipe over and a good declutter. Once the rest of the room's done, it's time to move back onto the buff. So I'm just going to rinse it all out because I did have it full of bleach. So I need to get rid of all of that. And then I'm going to go in and wipe down the tiles. But let me know down in the comments what you use for cleaning your grout because it's looking really yellow and I can't seem to get it clean for the life of me. Half of the wall looks yellow and half of the wall looks white. So any recommendations on a good grout cleaner would be highly appreciated because I just can't find one that really works. So I'm just going to go in and wipe down all the tiles and just make it as fresh as possible. So I'm now going back in with the white vinegar and washing up liquid on the shower screen and even though 
doing the bathrooms is my least favourite room to do. I hate cleaning the bathrooms. Doing the shower doors and the shower screens is definitely the favourite part of it. I do enjoy doing that. I just find it so satisfying and I love rinsing it off just to see it crystal clear. I don't know why, but it's one of my favourite things to do in the bathroom is just clean all of the glass it's just so satisfying so i'm just gonna rinse it all off now and rinse off the tiles and everything and then i can go in with my steam mop and just make everything nice and fresh <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed today's bathroom deep clean. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also leave today's video a thumbs up and I'll see you back here in the next one.